but we will make it, we will get a car, and we will get a Euro tunnel today. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to probably the most energetic start to a daily vlog series on Supercars of London. However, I am so excited for the weeks to come. And today I thought was the perfect opportunity to kick things off as I'm heading to St Pancras International. I am literally just walking there right now as I'm about to get on a Euro start to Paris, change over in Paris and then head out to Le Mans where right now the 24 hour race is happening. So I'm so excited to head out there. I'm actually not gonna to see too much of the race, but I am going out there to pick up a special car, which um, is gonna be pretty damn cool. And I cannot wait to get behind the wheel. I have waited months to drive this car. It is the brand new Ford Focus RS, recently featured on Top Gear. sandwiches on the floor. You're always smartly dressed, like every time in a video now you're like dressing to impress. Car sporting, you're dressed like this. <laughs> Roaming the streets of London. I did a wash yesterday of all my casual stuff and it's still uh, wet. Yeah. So. Okay, so now we are just waiting for our train and then it's about two and a half hours into Paris and then it's a quick trip across on the metro and then we're jumping on another train and I think it's another hour and a half to two hours to Le Mans and then we literally Going into Le Mans, picking the car up and driving out. Like most people go to Le Mans to watch the race, yeah. but we're going as it's happening. I told people I was going to France for the weekend. They were like, "Oh, what are you doing?" I was like, "I'm going to Le Mans." And they was like, "When are you coming back?" It's like Sunday. When are you leaving? It's Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> we're missing pretty much the entire race. Yeah. Not seeing any of it, and then we've got a bit, a bit of a race against time to get back. the train station we're supposed to come out of following signs for the next train station and now we're lost but it's nice in Paris and then somewhere over there is the Eiffel Tower final train of the day is a double decker oh yeah only in France and probably in a lot of other oh, yeah look at that that's a classic French look right there double decker pretty cool uh, is this number five? five? Yeah, here we go. We have arrived at Le Mans and it's about 20 minutes until the end of the race. So most of the drivers now, or most of the teams, have been racing for over 23 and a half hours. I have no idea how many laps that is. However, we are arriving right at the finish of the Le Mans, which is actually a bad thing because we don't want it to be too much traffic. This is the scene that we're currently working with, absolute gridlock. And I'm waiting here for a Ford representative and then we're gonna try and find the Ford Focus RS. Wherever it is, we're not gonna be moving fast at all, meaning it's very unlikely that we're gonna be uh, catching our Euro tunnel. But we'll do our best. I'm pretty sure that car is nippy, 2.3 litre EcoBoost. It is gonna be quite nippy, um, but you can be in the fastest car in the world and still be as slow as all of these cars in traffic like this, so. We're just gonna wait and see, and I desperately need the toilet, which is just the worst thing in the world. But uh, we are being patient, and we'll eventually get in the car, but this sucks at the moment. Another update, 20 minutes later, we have sat down, and not a lot has happened. I'm not sure whether you can see that, but the, the race finished 51 minutes ago. This caravan is still here. The other caravan is behind me somewhere. 50 minutes, we're going well. Oh no, 
I've gone all the way back. Is engine start stop. So this is the exact car that Tim had. Ah, oh, there gone. So we have now got for a week the car that Tim drove down here in. So I feel like this is probably going to be properly warmed up. Oh, he stole it. Oh, I've not done a. That was jumpy. <laughs> I was like, the clutch literally just put the clutch. Yes. Oh, this is really nerve wracking. Here we go. Back to England we go. 599 as we're leaving at 5 p.m. So we've got two hours and 20 minutes now to get to our Euro tunnel. It is not gonna happen, but welcome to the interior of the Ford Focus RS. I love this stitching. I think it is so cool. And this is the view from the wing mirror. Lovely paint job, which I haven't actually shown you guys, but I will do. Check this out, we are right by Calais, and I want these guys to go past. One. Oh yes, all wheel drive as well. What a beast. He's not going sideways anytime soon. There's that Maserati again, and then here we go. We've got a V8 Vantage S, and then a car that will eat them all for supper. We have made it, but <laughs> the downside is I have never seen traffic like this before at the Euro Tunnel. This we are still ages away from even finding out what train we're gonna go on. There is a, an entire diversion all the way around here, underneath us, all the way around there, and I reckon there's at least a thousand cars in the queue to just, and what it does is it, just doing a big loop to try and fit as many cars in, because all of the cars down there, look, Zach, get them, the cars that are just driving out there are, the, are the, at the front of that. And they're all just queuing up and then eventually end up there. So we're just doing a big figure of eight. So the, the things that we have learned from today are don't arrive in Le Mans at the time the race finishes because you are swimming upstream against hundreds of thousands of people and cars. Don't try and leave in a car from Le Mans because you're going to wait in traffic. It took us about two and a half hours from the train station just to get to the car, then don't, after that, don't get the Euro tunnel back. And especially don't do it whilst the Euros are on because I've never experienced anything like this. We are gonna be sat here for ages. I did not expect this at all. And as first daily vlogs go, we're idiots. There's a guy just sort of wondering what to do, looking as to what is going on at the moment. This is proof that it is, it is Le Mans traffic, that there is a Ferrari, I think it's a Testarossa or a 512, DB9, there's a Vantage there, Porsche Boxer there. We've got a GTR Aston Martin Vantage somewhere in front, there's an M3 that's just pulled out. So there's some wicked cars here, the car parks are gonna be a total joke. And I don't know what she's doing. That is amazing. Oh, but yeah, we're not going there. No, we're going to pet reception. Oh, GT3 RS. You got it. I suppose we could be in worse traffic jams. There's an RS4 as well. It's <laughs> silly the amount of cars that are here. It's so cool. Where's the light? Can you, is it on? What about this? There we go. Oh. <laughs> is it working? Yeah. Right. So We've heard there are rumours that we have to stay overnight. We're about to find out. She's not even letting me check in. Oh. Insert card. <laughs> this is like already three. This is three hours of delay. Remove card. 
come on. Please wait, they're searching. <laughs> yes. Mr. Wallace. That's it. 4.47 in the morning. The time is now half past 10 at night. You have arrived too late for your booking. You can transfer to the next available time. We're gonna have to, aren't we? That's the only thing that we can do. Right, just to, just to let you guys know, I have work, okay? And I need to be up <laughs> at 6.30 in the morning in London, okay? To get bon to work. Voyage. Good journey. Ah, uh, yeah. Thank you. Right. <laughs> like there's literally nothing in the funny world. about it, <laughs> but we're laughing. What can I do? Oh, I did not expect. I was hoping to do a grand reveal of the Canon G7X that I have bought for these daily vlogs. However, that is not the case. This is a superior camera in the dark as the time is 11 p.m. This is a quick update. Not a lot is happening. That is the current view. So, um, yeah, we're still in the Focus RS, of course. We haven't changed cars, we haven't stolen someone else's car. Here we go, this is the only thing that is open. We were really hoping that Burger King was gonna be open, however, it is not. Duty Free is open, so fingers crossed they've got some Red Bull in there, and uh, Starbucks is open. We are now working out what we're gonna do for the next six hours or so. The Wi-Fi here is good, meaning that Fingers crossed, we might be able to download a film and just chill out and watch that. I'm gonna buy a ton of Red Bull in the duty free and then uh, not sleep, edit this vlog, get it online ready for tomorrow, which you're watching right now. And yeah, this has just been a complete total disaster. Right, socks are coming off. I don't even know what the time is. What is the time? Um, why is this? Let me have a look. The time is 12.51. I'm not sure if you can see that. Yeah. And that's that UK? No, that's it. That's that's definitely French time. So it's... How do you lock this? Because I don't want some fucking... Image. Don't swear. I've locked it. And our train now is three hours away, so I'll set an alarm. Water. It's actually quite spacious in here. Let me, let me set the... Look. Wait, wait, wait. I need to... Zach drew the short straw and his, uh, yeah, his a passenger seat. <laughs> in passenger seat. Yeah, but my wonderful that, are you leg leg space. Yeah. What was that? <laughs> what was that? Well, the, the honk's there. That is so weird. We've got ghosts in the car. Guys, we're in France. Zach, take the camera. We're in England. We're in England with one kilometre of fuel. Oh, can we make it? This is a nutter. Oh my god. I've never let a car get so low on fuel and this was not the intention at all so apologies Ford this is bad for the car when we got to the Euro tunnel we were definitely supposed to have more fuel than zero miles but thankfully we are here so here we are back at exactly the same petrol station as we was last week with the AMG. And this is, I suppose, is the first time that you're going to see the outside of the car. I know it's been in Tim's videos, but on my channel, if you don't watch Tim's video, this is what the Focus RS looks like. Beginning of this vlog, 
I was up at six o'clock to uh, get taken to the Eurostars. So I think we've had a pretty good go at exactly what not to do on any day, but let alone Sunday. <laughs> Zach, I'm gonna drop Zach off at a train station so that he can get home and basically change and go straight back to work. And I'm gonna go home, hopefully sleep for an hour, wake up, edit this vlog, and then get cracking on the next day's vlog. So thank you guys for watching. Like I may have mentioned already in this video, but I've completely forgotten. From now, for about three weeks, I'm gonna be doing some daily vlogs and bringing you along on the journey and adventures that I get up to with the Focus RS on Modball Rally and as well with my AMG GTS when I get exhaust modifications, which I'm very excited about. And um, yeah, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. This has not been our 24 hours, but it has been a bit of an adventure and what a way to kick off the daily vlogs. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Woohoo!